Good morning, guys. Uh, let's start with uh, WikiLeaks having a uh, news broadcast later on today. As I said here on Tuesday morning at the same time, WikiLeaks was releasing the contents of Vault 7, CIA document dump. It was supposed to hold a press conference, which, however, was said to have suffered terminal technical difficulties. Uh, so today they'll do it now at 9.45 Eastern uh, AM. Uh, so could, could we say CIA interfering there? Probably so. And as well as other people. They have no desire for these uh, emails to come out. Too much, too much on them. Um, and, then, uh, and then NBC reporter uh, Jane Tim, if that's what you want to say, she's going to fact check all of Trump's uh, job creation claims. And she says, you know, she's destroying the Trumpers here in the me. Look, bottom line is, he has brought in more jobs and has saved more jobs than Obama. All the rest of them put together, okay? All that, if if uh, they had been able to keep Obama in, or if Hillary had been placed in, we would have continued to lose jobs out of this country, without a doubt. There would have been more regulations, higher taxes. Everything would have gotten worse. It would have been complete chaos. Not hardly any businesses would have wanted to have stayed here. Mexico would be in fat city because even more companies would have gone down there. And um, so anyway, she can say whatever she wants, but not only though can you say like the carrier jobs. She said, well, in truth, there's only 800 jobs saved at the carrier plant. Well, that's not true because whatever jobs were saved there, guess what? Take, go out into the community, go to the restaurants, the retailers, and all the rest. Their jobs got saved too. So it has, you know, it has a spread out effect. It's like a rippling effect. Of course, she's not going to say that, but I will. Um, let's go over some other stuff here. Uh, and let's see here. Let's start with, let's go here to the top. Of zero hedge, um, and if it'll go, night. Okay, let's start here. Nigel Farage uh, visiting Julian Assange in the Ecuadorian embassy. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who have been saying, "Oh, he's dead. He's dead." No, he's not dead. Okay, he's it's he's been alive this whole time, alive and well, and uh, so. I'm sure Nigel Farage will have an interesting talk with Trump when that one's over with. Um, Trump valuing full court press as opposition to Ryan Care Mount. Look, all that all that Trump wanted was something on the table. Let's get something on the table and then we can work with that and then it will force other people to come forth with their ideas. And um, he just wanted something to work with. It's like, let's make a deal here. Come on, let's get it going. Got to get the process going. Not stop. He wanted everyone to get the hell off their hands and, and do something. Uh, U.S. sends hundreds of Marines 20 miles from ISIS capital. Um, it's, it, it basically what it's going to do is, is push a lot of those people in ISIS further. They're going to get nervous and it's going to force them to do a move that they don't want to. It says the U.S. has sent several hundred Marines to Syria to support an allied local force aiming to capture the Islamic State stronghold of Raqqa. Uh, defense officials said they would establish an outpost from which they could fire artillery at ISIS positions. So, and you know, remember, as, as one of the viewers said, Trump is not going to broadcast what he's going to do. He's doing a lot of stuff that is not being broadcast. Um, and then you got Draghi over in uh, the EU doing his thing the EU is dead new world order is all but I mean they're they're hanging on they're trying to do their stuff but guess what they're done stick a fork in them they can they're, they're still gonna do some damage granted uh, Soros is gonna do some damage still but I tell you what from this point on they're digging their own grave the more they do the more trouble they're gonna be in and that's all there is to it uh, Trump offering the Russian ambassador post to uh, John Huntsman. Apparently, he's been a, uh, 
a Putin critic. And so, you know, he's been an ambassador to Singapore and China under uh, Presidents Bush and Obama. And um, so we'll see how he does with Russia. We'll see. Uh, crude plunging below 49. You know something? As as we go deep, deeper and deeper into oil shell and all the rest of the stuff, it's going to force the price of oil down. And uh, which means people will have more discretionary income to work with. Um, they say the American empire was challenged on nearly every front this week. Hey, listen, here's what's going to happen. People, if they want us there in their country, they're going to have to pay something. That's just how it's going to be. Um, labor paradox. As Trump fights for jobs, the trucking industry is struggling with a huge labor shortage. Um, you know, it's true. There, uh, there, there's so many people who have gone unemployed. And a lot of these trucking, I tell you what, these trucking companies, they laid off a lot of people. And it says here, the American Trucking Association forecasts that the trucking industry will be short 175,000 drivers over the next dec decade. Uh, and, uh, but you know something? They, it pays pretty well. It's, it's long hours, but you know something? They'll find, they'll find the workers. I have no doubt about that. And then they say, are we witnessing the weirdest moment in economic history? Uh, they say, if you thought 2016 was weird, I suggest you get comfortable with the surreal because it is not going away anytime soon. They say 2017 is a veritable treasure trove of failing, of falling elevators. It seems to me that many of these events stacked so closely together in the next few weeks are not coincidental in their timing. They're going to, you know, just get ready for a lot of shit to happen. There, I think there's going to be one last major push coming from the New World Order, from the shadow government, and, 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 for, and for the deep state as well. Get ready for it. These people are not going to go quietly into the night. They're going to go into the night, but it's not going to be quiet. And they're going to make one or two big last pushes, maybe only one. But it, they're going to make it a good one. And it's not going to work. We've all caught, look, 80% of the country is behind Trump. you got the vast majority of the people in France behind Marine Le Pen. you got people in Great Britain who are fed up. They want out of the EU, get out and get out now. Germany is fed up with Merkel and all those stupid migrants. People all around the world are fed up. We don't want globalism. We want we want it back the way it was. Is it going to be just the way it was? No. It always changes. But we want what we want is some sort of order. We want some sort of normalcy. We don't want the absolute chaos. We don't want that bullshit. We don't need it. And we want these people put behind bars. And you know something? It's going to happen. I've been saying for a long time, many, many years, it's going to happen. I said, just as we took that hard left, we were going to take a hard right. And to those in power, it's going to seem like a hard right. But for the rest of us, it's going to be like going home. God bless you all. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, guys.